Hello YouTube, today at uh, PowerJackRepair.org we got another MSI GF7510 SDR MS17 F31. Um, decline something just the motherboard. We do have a video on how to take it apart. Uh, one point of advice, you see those pads right here. Before shipping out just the motherboard, make sure those pads you're going to put back onto the heatsink on the bottom side of the heatsink where you took them off. Because this is definitely not from here. This is from someplace here or here or here. That's how we received it. Basically, this guy, this pad should be here someplace. And when you assemble it back together, make sure it's not double stacked. If it's double stacked, then the nearby components won't be, uh, won't be cooling down as well. Now, the, it came in here for the power connector repair. You see in some of my videos, I use different type of insulation for this and that. Uh, in this case, we're going to use, uh, let's see, uh, let me first remove this, uh, this rubber piece because it's not necessary here. It's going to melt basically when, when I'm going to be applying heat. So this is that. Here I'm going to use the uh, 3M insulation, the high temp, right here. Because uh, there are some surface mounting components in the back that has, have tendencies to come over the motherboard when I apply heat. On the connector nearby, I'm just going to use the captain tape. Captain tape also going to hold that uh, aluminum uh, insulation in place so this is here and on this side all of those components are usually sitting quite well so you don't have to use the high temperature insulation because it's ridiculously expensive this guy it's not some just some tape that you can buy at the local hardware store it's the i think one of those like 20 bucks for this much tape you see this much so you kind of have to be really careful it's says energy saving product but the link should be below someplace where where i'm buying it from but it's ridiculously expensive and i mostly use it for uh for little places where i know that there's a chance that component might come off the motherboard all right so somebody was already trying to replace the connector here which is no big deal most of the motherboards that we receive somebody already tried to work on it this is the new connector that's available for purchase from the link below and uh, you see my <laughs> looks good on camera right now i mean when i have a whole bunch of tools on the table i know what exactly looks by color basically i'm look, trying to locate the part not the part but the tool by color anyways so what we're gonna do here is uh, there's some damage seems to be to the motherboard already now yeah all right so to those connectors what happens is that the rear pin connector right here breaks right there right where it meets the uh, meets the pin so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add some flux then we're gonna add some leaded base solder and the leaded base solder gonna mix with the flux and it's gonna mix with the unleaded base solder it's gonna drop the the melting temperature and then we're gonna apply some hot air and using some uh, using soldering iron which is gonna press a little bit on each one of those points and it should come off the point is to find a heat point where the hot air is not hot enough to melt anything around and uh, use the hot uh, use the soldering iron to drop those guys down so let me show you how we're gonna do it all right so i want to raise up the board from the from the uh, surface so i would be able to so that i would be able to the space is limited here the workspace because this is the exhaust chamber all of the fumes are coming out of here. Lead poisoning is the number one reason why people die. So I have to be careful because the solder here works fumes out 24-7. All right, one little tiny problem is um, I have to go to the lab and get the... All righty. Need, need to get some flux from the laboratory. Here, we're going to put that here. 
that's the flux. Then we're gonna use the leaded base solder. And before we're gonna use the leaded base solder, let's move the let's move the hot air towards the area which we're gonna desolder, which is gonna be better to be positioned like that, like that. All right, so let's add some hot air just a little bit. Uh, the hot air gonna warm up the motherboard so that the solder would flow much easier. Okay, solder did flow much easier, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be pressing down onto each leg and hope that not that fast. All right, I think I need to crank up the heat a little bit more because, because it's not really bulging quite well. Again, I don't want to overdo the heat. I will tell you how many degrees, but I have the analog dial here. So it's on the point on the six out of eight right now. So. All right. All right, so it started to bulge. Starting to bulge, let's see. All right. All right, that's good. That's good. Come on. All right, wonderful. Looks wonderful. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna reduce the hot air. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna desolder the, the uh, suck all of the solder with the soldering quick soldering to soldering quick, probably desoldering quick. Like that. All right. All right, let's try to get some of that out. All right. Again, I'm trying not to overheat anything. So the hot air is at, uh, is at four and a half right now. It's just helping me to get a little bit more solder out of the equation. So here we can bring the hot air a bit closer to the point of interest. Here we can cut the, the soldering quick a little bit. And 
рекомендации. Right, looks good. Shut down the hot air station. And this is basically the desoldering work right there. All right. All righty, let's bring over a new connector. Looks like that. And as you can see right here is where that uh, piece came off. That's the piece right here, this guy. So that's where it breaks. It breaks right there. It's part of the part of the connector. All righty. Here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some flux to the top side of the motherboard. All right. We're gonna put some the connector inside all right all right next thing is uh, we're gonna add some solder to the tip of the soldering iron then we're gonna fold the connector in place okay then let's try and get this side as well All right, that's good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to solder the other side. Let's put some flux right here. Like that and like that. And let's solder this side. All right, that's good. And that's good. Uh, looks amazing. Solder the rear points. All right, let's flip the motherboard over and solder the rear pin a bit more right here on the top side. All right, looks good. And maybe a little bit this guy all right that's good excellent um yeah so let's remove the the insulation from around the connector and see if any of the components came off the motherboard And none of the components came off the motherboard. You can sometimes see them on the tape itself that they come off, but not, not in this case. Because I didn't uh, use too much air. I didn't use too much uh, hot air. You can regulate the flow and you could regulate the temperature. So I'm just kind of taking it easy on this board so that nothing would get melted. And right now it's going to look even better than new because this is a handmade job. All right, looks fantastic to me. Once everything warms up, uh, not warms up, but once everything dries out, everything should be pitched on this uh, motherboard. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Likes would be appreciated. And you guys take care and have a good day. I need to test to make sure that the current goes through the connector before mailing back to the client. All right, to test the plug. Okay, the plug is in the lab, so we can just test it uh, without the plug here. This is our YouTube studio. YouTube studio and the lab are two different all right, so we do get current from the rear pin to the um, to the board. 
and the ground is fine. The ground is working fine. And the ground from the jack conducts everything fine. And let's see if the pin itself is going to be conducting. The yeah, pin itself is conducting. And we see how everything goes through just fine. Here, here, here. All right, so the current goes from here to here to here to here to here to here and to this guy. Once it goes to this guy, it goes all over the motherboard. So I think the job is done. Thanks so much for watching. Again, those pads, this pad is not from here. It needs to be here someplace. Make sure that your pads, when you take this whole thing, are not going missing because without the pads, everything going to fry and burn. All right. Thank you. Have a good day.